Organizing. Historically, it has been how people have gotten things done. How the many have been able to accomplish what the few could not. So why organize? Because time and again, we have seen the power of being organized. The tenants and tenant organizers of the National Alliance of HUD Tenants know all too well the crisis facing affordable housing in this country. Organizing has been Nat's primary weapon in the fight against this crisis. It has only been through the ability of tenants to come together in solidarity that they have finally been heard and have had their rights addressed. But when owners and managers impede the ability of residents to organize, it threatens these rights. I got the rich Unfortunately, right. harassment of tenants who assert their rights is an almost universal problem in HUD-assisted housing. The climate of fear and intimidation which has resulted is profoundly undemocratic. Wherever HUD tenants have gathered, in all parts of the country, management harassment for organizing is always at the top of the agenda. To raise awareness of this problem, Nat participated in a televised training for HUD employees. I, I think the problem is everywhere, and I think that the bottom line is that uh, uh, owners simply are not able and want to have tenant unions around to challenge rent increases, you know, to challenge repairs. Uh, they would just, they don't want to spend the money on, on improving our housing conditions. I really think that what they would like to do is just to keep this, you know, the HUD subsidies rolling in and not have to be accountable to anybody or any, you know, any group in order to make the necessary repairs or to keep our, uh, you know, our housing up to stand to what it should be. And uh, I think that's really the bottom line. Finally, after years of bringing landlord abuses to the attention of HUD officials, Nat successfully won Right to Organize Regulations, published in the Federal Register in June of 2000. The Right to Organize Regulations clearly state that, as a tenant of HUD subsidized housing, you have the right to form tenant associations and attend tenant association meetings without being harassed, evicted, or retaliated against. Have the tenant association recognized by owners with reasonable consideration given to the concerns raised. Distribute leaflets in common areas and under tenants' doors. Go door to door to meet and inform tenants. Hold meetings without obtaining management approval. Develop an agenda for a meeting without management approval. Have reasonable access to a space to hold a tenant meeting. Bar management from a tenant meeting, unless you have invited them. Have non-tenant outside organizers assist in establishing and operating a tenant association. Complain to HUD or any other government agency if you see fit. Right to organize regulations have been a major victory for HUD tenants. Yet more needs to be done to strengthen tenants' rights. Recently, NAT has won provisions for monetary penalties against owners who violate these rights, and has also pressed a commitment from HUD to extend the right to organize regulations to state-financed buildings. We must ensure HUD enforces the right to organize regulations. HUD must make owner and management abuses a top priority. So what can tenants do if they see their rights being violated? Have a tenant group. Strength comes in numbers. 
have backup and allies. Try going to owner or manager with the grievance. Go up the ladder of the corporate office. Most will want to avoid any embarrassment to the company. Take it to your local HUD office or financing agency. Go up to the regional director if needed. Contact your elected officials at the local, state, and national levels. Bring the issue up to the NAT network where the NAT board can raise the issue in DC. Most importantly, write everything down. Keep written documentation that can be used later. I have lived in this city as my the basic human right to decent, safe, sanitary, and affordable housing is fundamental. The right of residents to organize is essential in ensuring these rights. Well, you make your city plans, try your damnedest to ignore us, but you can't just take our homes away. Without us fighting, no, you can just take our homes away. These old buildings raise our children, and though it's true they need repairing, you can't just take our homes away. Without us fighting, no, you can't just.